good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you so very much for taking out your valuable time on a Saturday afternoon and joining us in this celebration. After living through the last 80 years of PL and going through the journey of the past, I'm going to take you guys through what we visualize the future to be over the next 10 years, 20 years, etc. I'll be throwing light on how PL visualizes that the investment landscape in India is actually going to transform in a very, very significant way. And uh, taking from our life, you know, over the last 30 years or 40 years, none of us were used to going from one place to another with Google Maps. We all had to remember the uh, destination or ask people around. But as time progressed, we don't need to remember where we need to go. We simply put it on our Google Maps and understand what the destination is and the maps will take you there. Similarly, I think uh, 40 years back, we also didn't have washing machines. We used to wash clothes manually. As we stand today, obviously nobody even thinks of washing clothes on their own. So even in the world of investing, I believe a lot of things are going to change. And as we usher into the ninth decade of PL Group, we think quantitative research and investing is going to be the cornerstone of growth, not just in India, but also globally. So let's just try to understand uh, what quant investing is all about. Quant investing is a very, very simple concept that instead of humans making investment decisions, machines are making investment decisions. So to summarize that, we simply look at investing in two ways, right? Uh, in quant, the human will make the rules and the machine will make the decision by following the rules. So that is what simply quant investing is all about. Uh, if I look at US over the last uh, 30 years or so, it's very evident that 35% of money in America is now managed quantitatively as opposed to 1% in India. And if you look at the more stark, stark data here, it tells us that in 1989, 89% of all the money was managed actively, which means human fund managers were managing money actively in America. As opposed to that, today this share is down to just 26%. So there's a big, big change. Even if we look at India, we see a very, very sharp growth in the uh, quant fund industry. And the reason for that is, over the last five years, 100% of all the quant funds in India have beaten the benchmark, as opposed to just 46% of the actively managed funds. So every time you see there's a transformation in performance, people will automatically gravitate towards a better performing strategy over the long term. And I think that is exactly what's played out in US as well and is likely to play out in India right now. And uh, over the last uh, five years, PL has significantly transformed its abilities and built the infrastructure, team and wherewithal to be a pioneer in the space of quantitative research and quantitative investing. Just to highlight a couple of key things that we did over the last five years, uh, the boldest call that we took was to move out of active money management and become a pure play quant asset manager. So as we stand today, we are one of the only asset management companies in India that follows a 100% pure play quant based asset management model. We also over the last five years created a multidisciplinary team of risk analysts, CMTs, Python programmers, economists, macro analysts, statisticians, mathematicians, and many more. So the whole idea was to build a completely different team so that we get a completely different output. We can't be using the same process or the same set of team structures that were used in traditional research and then expect a different outcome, right? So we needed to create a completely different setup and a completely different ecosystem so as to uh, build new processes that can deliver performance. And the broad idea of uh, Quant at PL was we didn't want to ignore uh, the 80 years of legacy. 
We didn't want to give away the 80 years of wisdom, the capital market understanding, and the research expertise that PL has gained over the last eight decades. We simply wanted to enhance it, refine it using technology, using rules, using data, and creating objective models with it. And it's taken us five years, 25 people, and obviously so many days and so much effort and so much capital to build this entire infrastructure. But fortunately, as we stand today, I think uh, all the hard work and the tough work is behind us. And now we are on a journey where we can hyperscale from here on. A uh, couple of uh, big things that drew me to the whole quant journey was the fact that repeatability in investment outcomes was usually missing in active funds management. Uh, and my big takeaway here is, when you let a process make an investment decision, as opposed to a human, it is more likely that the process will do the math maths in a correct and accurate manner. And just to give you a simple example, when you, when you look at calculators, right? So say 40 years back, we did everything manually. But today we use calculators, Python, ChatGPT, Excel, Tally. So the moment you rely on software to do all the heavy lifting while still retaining the human intelligence, you get a very, very deadly combination. We call this a man with machine approach. So the idea is to retain the human intelligence, but the idea is also to let go of all the emotions that the human brings with it. So retain the human intelligence, but blend it with machine precision. And to do that, we call it a rules-based architecture, where the humans work on making the rules and defining the systems, whereas the machines work on testing these rules, following these rules, and giving you accurate answers across market cycles. Uh, the other key idea is that as of today, it's been a young market in India, and uh, the journey for PL and India has been very, very nascent here. Uh, but PL has a dominant 10% market share in the quantitative PMS industry already. And it's just the first year of our uh, equity fund yet. So hopefully over the years to come, we, are, as we aspire to gain significant market share in India and also uh, allow global investors to invest in our funds. Uh, just to look at the quick journey of PL over the last, say, five years, it obviously first started with an idea. The idea was that quant or using technology to make investment decisions holds big potential in the world and somehow we need to crack it. That was the big idea. And obviously everyone in the capital markets has heard of Jim Simons, the most successful investor in the history of time and the history of mankind. He's delivered a 66% CAGR over the last 35 years. So obviously he's a legend. He's known as the quant king or the father of quant in the world. So we are truly uh, inspired by him. And our journey of quant also started after reading about him and understanding what he's doing in the world. So with that, uh, we ideated that quant is the big opportunity. We started building a very, very robust team. We then went on to create large data pipelines. We created a very, very robust infrastructure on backtesting strategies, building factors, building features which didn't exist in India. For example, the ability to change investment styles based on market cycles. Usually, every fund manager or human investor would tend to follow one investment style very, very closely and tightly across cycles, but only the machine gives you the ability to change your investment style based on the cycle you're in. With that, uh, in 21, June 21, we launch our first uh, multi-asset PMS using quantitative technology to do tactical asset allocation. Uh, that obviously had a very good track record in terms of performance. We had challenges for the first six, eight months, but post that, it was doing really well. And once that product stabilized, we then moved on to the next strategy, which is our flagship strategy, Aqua. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about that as we go ahead. And finally, we combined the concept of asset allocation and equity with through Aqua and you uh, launched a blended strategy called MADP Alpha, which takes the best of a style adaptive strategy and a multi-asset strategy. And as we look into the future, we obviously have more strategies in the pipeline that we want to launch, whether it's on the PMS side, on the mutual fund side, and on the fund of fund side as well. So we do see a very bright and exciting future. 
for the quantitative research and asset management industry in India. And we hope and aspire to be leaders and pioneers in the same. Uh, just to give you guys a quick uh, representation of why there is a need to do what we are doing, let's just look at one of these charts very closely. Uh, if I look at uh, the last chart on the bottom uh, left of the slide, it tells you that across market cycles, your fundamental regimes keep changing. For example, a quality investor or a quality style investor would do well in a certain cycle and a value style investor would do well in another cycle. And there's no way on earth that you can use just one style to outperform across market cycles. And hence, we've created a strategy that is not only adaptive across fundamental styles, also across technical styles, sectors, asset classes, market caps, and market sentiment. So the whole idea was to be inspired by the multidimensional adaptability of water. Water, as we all know, it can change its form, it can change its shape, it can change its size, and it can change its color. So we wanted a strategy that is as adaptive across multiple dimensions as the nature of water itself. And that's how the birth of Aqua, which is quite the revolutionary strategy uh, for PL as we speak today. And the whole idea is based on the changing market and macro regimes, the portfolio should completely change and transform. For example, uh, in a risk on environment, we're talking about strong economic growth, healthy liquidity in the markets. This is the time when investors and fund managers should focus on generating returns alone without looking at risk in this phase of the market. So in this phase of the market, our portfolio will be tilted towards a growth and value style of investing, tilted towards a momentum orientation in terms of technical style, tilted towards a high beta, have more mid and small caps in the portfolio, and ensure that we are invested in cyclical stocks or deep cyclical stocks. The whole idea is to be unbiased and agnostic to investment style, sectors, and risk regimes. At the same time, adapt to the prevailing style and the prevailing regime. And with that, uh, just to give you guys a quick overview of what Aqua really does. In Aqua, we focus on six key aspects in terms of adaptability. We call it the right asset allocation, the right market cap mix, investment style, the right thematic exposure, the right factor weights, and the right beta levels. These are the six dimensions of the portfolio that keep changing based on the changing market cycle and macro cycle. Uh, the other thing we do is we take a 100% rules-based objective approach to investing. Rather than having any layer of subjectivity, we call it a true blue quant fund, which means there is no human intervention in stock selection, sector selection, or asset allocation. Every investment decision is automated and made by the machines. And this obviously helps us eliminate all the biases that kind of come along in the process of investing itself. The idea is also to not have bias, biases in terms of holding period, emotional biases, behavioral biases, or risk biases. We try to systematically eliminate all of these biases based on the rules we've defined in the strategy. And finally, I think the end outcome or the end goal for every investor in India and in the world is just one word. It's called alpha. Nobody is investing to earn just market-linked returns. People are earning to beat the markets. So the whole idea is to create a strategy, a designer strategy that can beat the market across cycles. And the way we've done it this, uh, firstly, we focused on returns that are granular. Granular across securities and across time. We don't want concentrated returns because the moment your returns are concentrated across a time period or across a set of stocks, you usually can't repeat this in the future. So we go with an equal weighted portfolio to ensure granular, granularity and repeatability in the fund. We also take a... a portfolio approach, which means rather than focusing on one individual stock that comes in or goes out of the portfolio, we look at the returns and the results of our portfolio at a total portfolio level. Because at the end of the day or at the end of three, five, ten years, the investor really takes home the total portfolio outcome and not the story or the narrative on one selected stock. So the whole focus is that investors look at portfolio outcomes rather than individual security outcomes. And uh, finally, uh, I would like to also throw some light 
on what we've done differently so far. Uh, there have been, it's been one year since we've launched this fund. We've obviously beaten the benchmark by 2x. Four quarters have gone by. We've outperformed the benchmark in each of the four quarters. Six rebalances have gone by. We've done better than the benchmark in five out of six rebalances. And 12 months have gone by. We've delivered absolute positive or outperforming returns in 10 out of 12 months. So when I look at this, it gives me an idea that the returns are con not concentrated across a single period. They are actually well distributed across time. They are repeatable and they are consistent across uh, different quarters and different rebalance cycles. And the whole idea was to build a strategy that is sustainable across market cycles in delivering alpha for investors. And uh, as we look at the future, beyond asset management, we also have different applications of quantitative investing and quantitative research planned for each of the three businesses that PL is running. So just to give you guys a quick idea, on the wealth side, uh, we are planning to launch our own proprietary technology called Funds IQ, which talks about evaluating mutual funds and creating an all-weather mutual fund portfolio based on the concept of diversification across the right asset classes, investment styles, sectors, and risk levels. So the whole idea is using quantitative research to select mutual funds and to create portfolio of mutual funds for retail investors. The other thing we're planning to, we've already launched is smart equity portfolios. This gives retail investors access to lower ticket sized quant strategies. On the asset management side, as we all know, PMS and AIF are our big focus areas for now. And we aspire to apply for a mutual fund license in the next one or two years. And finally, on the institutional side as well, we have a slew of innovative and differentiated products purely based on our quant research and infrastructure that we wish to launch and make life for all our institutional investors and clients as well. And with that, I would uh, thank you guys once again for being such a patient audience and would love you guys to join us in the quant revolution that lies ahead of us. Thank you so much, everyone.